Hey guys, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you a, a video. I'm gonna make a video on how to get faster at your F2L. So, first and one of the biggest things in your F2L in order to get faster is to use less cube rotations. You never need to do a Y2. In fact, never do Y2s because that's just way too slow. You can always just instead of doing this, for doing a full cube rotation to put it in, you can just do it from the back. Really simple. Like you can see all the other cases for rotationless F2L in my rotationless F2L tutorial. But you doing F2L, you don't need cube rotations at all. There are algorithms for almost every case. There are algorithms for every case that don't require cube rotations. So so basically yeah, less cube rotations can really help. Now one now one other big thing is you can do is use something called look ahead. Basically, if I have my cross solved here and um, I'm looking I'm and uh, I see this case right away, I'm going to start putting that in. But uh, what I see here is I'm seeing these two right here as a case. And so as I'm doing this, I'm tracking those pieces around so that I can immediately start putting those in and then I already see this case so I can boom and so now I'm seeing this case so I can just put that in and I can just solve the cube normally from there so using look ahead is, is really good and so I don't quite know how to do this yet but during your 15 second inspection period you can uh, look for your first F2L pair or two F2L pairs, or as many as, many as you possibly can, and that, and that will really help you. I can't quite figure out how to do that unless I have a really easy cross case. Whoa, that just made a huge jump. So, yeah, basically that's a good way to get a lot faster using look ahead, let less cube rotations, never do a Y2, and... And that's pretty much a great way to get faster. This, do do I? Oh, here's another one. Mirror mirror your algorithms with your left hand. Don't just use your right. That way, it's the same thing as doing this, except with my left hand. That way, I don't need to just do this. You know, doing everything with your right hand that's way too slow. So start using your left hand a bit more in F2L. So I hope this will help you drop your averages by about 5 or 10 seconds, depending depending on uh, how slow or quick you are. So I hope this will really help you with your F2L.